The class is called Fitness and Leadership, and uh, Tony Ingram and I, Tony teaches it uh, here as well, so a colleague of mine and a great friend of mine. Um, we just saw a great value in trying to teach young people the value of being leaders. Uh, if, you can, if you can try to develop those characteristics uh, at this age, because it's, it's lifelong. And, and, you know, as a teacher, you want them to be lifelong leaders. And so uh, we just found it to be such a great value. And, 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 it, and it's so important to us as coaches, you know, because I think you're always striving to develop your athletes or develop your students to be better leaders. The leadership portion is the portion I love. That's where, that's my passion. And then of course, you know, the fitness piece came into play where just kind of like a lack of, we felt kind of a, almost like a lack of um, that being taught to the Manhattan community. We didn't know what kind of um, uh, response we would get and it, and it was a great response. I think we had to turn kids away because as you can see, the room's not big enough. A, a one student in particular comes to my mind. She's not as skilled or coordinated or athletically gifted as probably anybody else in the class. And uh, I admire her courage because she could have gotten out of it, but watching her growth from day one to now we're, you know, nine weeks, almost nine weeks in, and her improvement has just been like, wow. And that's what you want. You want those wow moments. And she is just one in particular that um, it's been so awesome to see her and, and, and her peers embrace her and, and encourage her. I think we're just gonna expand and, and run with this thing and, and teach and teach as many different like lifts and that we can, but we just need more equipment to do that.